Hey everyone, so I just wanted to come up here and make a video and you can tell by the title what I'm probably going to talk about. Um, and I sat here for a long time contemplating if I even wanted to make a video about this topic because it is such a hot topic, but um, something just like moved me to want to um, share like my thoughts and I don't even really know where to begin, where I want to go. I jotted down some notes because I didn't want it to be completely all over the place, but it still may be just because it's such a passionate, um, it's such a passionate topic. So, um, I don't really know where to start. So, unless you have been completely disconnected from uh, the internet or TV or social media in general, then you would probably by now have heard about some more um, police involved shootings. I, I mean, I don't know what else to call it besides what it is. Um, and this time there were some pretty graphic video uh, clips of those, those incidents. I don't know about you, but as a black person, these, I mean, I knew these things had been happening for centuries, centuries. This type of treatment has been happening. Centuries, <laughs> okay? Ever since we were brought over here. Um, so it's not, unfortunately, it has become more recently because of uh, social media, it has become more... Um, I guess talked about because we can see it and so I guess maybe for those that it doesn't really involve involve meaning not blacks um, maybe it comes to it you know it's more of a shock to them but if you no, I mean, I love this country with all my heart, but if you know what it was truly founded on, if you have taken any type of um, African American history course, if you've taken any type of like American Indian um, history course, or if you've just read things that weren't really published by the, you know, and presented to us in the school system, if you've read any of that, then you know what this country was founded on and you aren't necessarily unfortunately shocked by these uh, incidents that are happening. I think we are more shocked by the outcomes of the justice system. Um, I think we're more shocked not so much anymore because it seems to be like a reoccurring thing um, where people are killed at the hands of law enforcement and then no one is really held accountable for it. Um, I don't really want to go into details of every single case. I know that there are um, plenty of law enforcement officers, well, I know that there are plenty of people in law enforcement that are not corrupt. I work with a lot of law enforcement um, and I have conversations with them. They seem like, you know, nice people. <laughs> they don't seem like they would do these types of things. I don't think that these people are necessarily evil in a sense, but every day we make decisions in life that sometimes we have to be held accountable for. Um, if I'm at work and I do something that costs someone their life, there will be an investigation and someone has to be held accountable for the loss of life. <laughs> like, I don't think we are realizing what this is like we're talking about the loss of life like you took life into your own hands you took that decision into your own hands you have to be held accountable for it um you knew that going into this type of field that these are some things that you would encounter i knew that going into my line of work i'm going to encounter certain things and i know that the first line of defense is not the last line of defense. There are steps that you have to take um, before you get to no, like not coming back from <laughs> that. I mean, there there's steps that you have to use to de-escalate, to defuse, to uh, 
compromise to talk to people. It can't just be um, shoot and ask questions later. It, it can't be, especially when we're talking about people who have not even, um, one, people who aren't even armed, and two, people who aren't even, like don't even have a weapon in their hand. Um, we've seen too many times where people who have um, committed heinous crimes, armed, ready to shoot, have been taken into custody alive. We've seen that for decades. That's nothing new. Um, so someone has to be held accountable for these things. Um, and I, I just, that's, I mean, I'm just like you, someone has to be held accountable. You cannot tell me that someone dies and nobody is responsible that they, in, in, you know, a lot of these cases that they just put themselves in those situations and um, we can't just keep telling people if you just do what they ask then everything will be okay. You can do what they ask and still get killed for it. I mean it, it doesn't make any sense to me. I mean I wanted to make this video because if I can come up here and spend talk to you about how I spent $50 on an, uh, an eyeshadow palette or um, you know spent all this money on clothes and all these other things then I can surely take the time out of my day to get up here and talk to you about somebody who has um, been unjustly treated. I can surely get up here and spend a couple of minutes of my day and talk to you about that. So the next thing that I kind of wanted to address is the All Lives Matter um, situation, movement, whatever you want to call it. Um, I, I, it. It's so frustrating to try to explain to someone that by saying Black Lives Matter, you aren't saying other lives don't. What you're saying is until my life is treated as equally as yours, then what there's no, I mean, what's the argument? We in this country weren't even considered a whole person at one point. How you figure that out, I have absolutely no idea. But now you want to tell me that all lives matter. Um, if all lives matter, then when you tweet about a um, a lion that was killed in you know in a safari or a gorilla that was killed in a zoo, or you want to tweet about the most recent um, celebrity death or um, a celeb that was killed, a celebrity that overdosed. If you want to tweet about those things because all lives matter, then you should definitely spread awareness about all lives, <laughs> all deaths. These deaths should be mourned equally because to me to say all lives matters means there's no gray area. It's black or white. You're either going to say, you're either going to be um, upset and want to find justice for every single life or none. Like, that's the claim, right? What we're saying is that my life is not treated the same as your life, you know? Um, or my life is not treated the same as a white life. Um, we've seen it countless times when a victim of kidnapping or rape is a person, is not a person of color their face, their picture, their story is plastered all over social media and different news outlets. Um, when the same thing happens within the like minority community, we don't get that same respect. We don't. Flat out. <laughs> we don't. Um, and I'm, I'm trying to keep this video like as short as possible. I think the, the, the next thing that I want to talk about is sticky. And it comes to social media influencers and their voice. Um, we all have a platform. What you choose to do with that platform is undoubtedly your right. If you want to talk about a certain uh, subject, if you don't want to talk about a certain subject, that is absolutely your right. No one says that you have to come out here and say anything about anything. Let's be honest. If you don't want to talk about it, 
you don't have to talk about it. Um, the problem that I have is when you don't speak about certain subjects and then you want to speak about others. Um, there have been a lot of like really big like um, social media influencers and YouTubers that are not black that have really, really lost some of my respect. And it wasn't even because they didn't say anything to begin with. If you don't want to, that's okay. But do not let two murders caught on videotape go by and then a shooting in a, at a protest where police officers are killed happen before you say something. Do not come out after the shooting and, you know, these involving these police, police officers and then want to say, oh, Black Lives Matter. We need to stand together. This is terrible. This world that, you know, is is so evil. The world is becoming so, so mean and cold and we just need to hold hands. Save it. You can miss me with that every day. You are preaching to the choir. If you wanted to, if you wanted us to stand together and back you and, and whatever, then say something when the first incident went down. Everybody was so quick about, you know, the Orlando shooting to get up here and jump about and hold hands kumbaya and I completely agree with you. Hate is hate everywhere and we shouldn't stand for it at all. And we also shouldn't stand for it when it involves people of power, law enforcement, those that have power. Um, we shouldn't stand for it then. So if you aren't gonna say anything when blacks are killed unjustly, then don't say anything at all. That's kind of how I feel about it. I don't, you don't get my vote. You don't get my sympathy when you want to jump up here and talk about pray for Dallas. Mm, let's pray for the families of Alton Sterling and Philando Castile, who those kids now no longer have a father. Um, so let's pray for them also because it's not a gray area. It's black or white. You pray for everybody or you pray for no one. Um, that's how I look at it. And while I'm on the topic of prayer, one thing I want to talk about is that prayer, I don't think has ever been a problem. I don't think prayer or lack of prayer has ever killed somebody. I try to pray every single night throughout the day when I see something unjust, something terrible, horrible that affects me, I try to pray for it then and there. I don't think that Prayer is going to solve everything here. Um, I don't, and I'm being honest. Is it, is it always needed and helpful? Most definitely. But if you want to take a stance, make a change, and actually see action, then you need to do something else besides pray. Um, you need to make a donation to those that are affected if, I mean, if you can, you don't have to, but if you can, yeah, let's do it. You need to email or write a letter to your local congressman because these people that we vote into office are the ones that inevitably are making some of these things so difficult for us to change. So you absolutely need to register to vote and you need to vote. And I don't want to hear anything about my vote doesn't count. I'm just one person. If we all said that, then nothing's going to change. You need to speak on the issues. If something is very passionate to you, don't be afraid of what others are going to say. Um, you have a voice and don't let anyone tell you that your voice doesn't matter. Um, don't ever let yourself tell you that your voice doesn't matter. And then if you want to march and protest safely, um, then by all means, found that outlet as well. And also continue to pray. But there are other things that we can do besides just pray for our enemies and for ourselves and those affected. We can do so many things on top of that. So I think that's everything that I want to talk about. I'm sure I will get off of here and think, oh, I should have said this, that, and the other. 
but it's kind of just like one of those things where you're just like speaking from the heart like just coming raw so i hope that i will leave this video up um I'm not asking anybody. Obviously, I don't feel that I should have had to preface the video with please don't leave hate messages and please be respectful. Um, people are going to do what they want to do anyway. <laughs> um, I will remove any message that I think is just undoubtedly like asinine. Like, I'll remove it. I'll block the person. It's not a problem. Um, but hopefully I'll leave these comments up if you want to have a healthy discussion. Um, so yeah, I think that's everything for this video. Thank you guys. I just wanted to get that off my chest. We'll be back. I'll be back with like regularly scheduled, hopefully not negative or just black cloud like videos. <laughs> yeah, so thank you guys so much as always for watching. I'll see you in the next video. Bye.